now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble, and as it says in bright red letters there, I'm Alex, and we'll be here until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time, and uh, here we go with yet another show, and of course, uh, this is the first show uh, after uh, the election seems to be over with, and we figured that tonight, uh, uh, as we have been doing, uh, we would go to an old friend to get his opinion about what's going on with, the, you know, the whole thing that's been going on. And he always has his own opinion, and we figured we'd check in with him. Let me see here. Let me go gallery view, and then we go there, and there he is. Hello, Phil. Hey, it's another uh, fine day in the neighborhood, you know. Uh, yeah. Joe Biden's getting ready to, to take over the world and... Uh, you know, free his son from captivity. <laughs> you never given up on that. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I forgot to do? What's that? Oh, now look at me. See, I forgot to turn the light on. I do that occasionally, you know. Uh, you know, we, we're forgetting more and more. Well, every now and then we're calling Phil lately to get his opinion on things and to keep him out of the, uh, out of the firing line of our citizen panel. Uh, well, you know, if you like to watch paint dry, your citizens panel uh, has a lot to offer. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was I was watching the other day? It was like watching paint dry. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, yeah. The the election. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I mean, d day in, day out, that was getting to be like paint drying. Well, you know, it, it, there was a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, uh, before before we talk about the election, I have had, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at Netflix. I'm looking at Prime, uh, uh, YouTube TV. There's nothing on anymore that, you know, because they're not making anything. Oh, wait so a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you're missing the big best show of the year. What? Uh, uh, Below Deck? No. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, like I have to admit, that's one of my guilty pleasures is Below yeah, Deck. Too. <laughs> and, oh, I, I did watch something pretty good. Uh, yeah. uh, at least I enjoyed it. The Queen's Gambit. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now tell me that isn't the best TV sh series of the year. Well, yeah, I, I binged it. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's sort of a mini, uh, a, a mini season. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a mini series. It's four, seven episodes, and it is maybe the best thing I've seen. It's the best thing I've seen on TV in years. Yeah, it was well done. I mean, the ending of that thing is just so wonderful. The very yeah. end. I won't tell people how it ends, but it, it's just, it's wonderful. If you think that chess is boring, go watch this thing. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was like band camp. It, it, well, no, it was better than <laughs> band camp. Anyway, so uh, uh, can you turn your bass up a little bit on your on your yeah. mic? Yeah, because it's a little too trebly, and uh, it's piercing, man. It's piercing. Uh, all right, is that better? Yeah, that's better. That's better. So anyway, uh, first, I guess I should just get your uh, your feeling on the um, the uh, election and the results and uh, what's been going on since. Well, you know, you want every vote to count, and uh, Trump uh, obviously uh, d doesn't have an a chance. I mean, I, I got to send my twenty bucks, uh, but uh, uh, by the way, he wants you to give it to the American Cancer Society. I, I understand. So, what I was going to do, uh, mm -hmm. I thought that was very generous. Uh, I, I don't know how to start a GoFundMe yet, but I was going to put uh, like fifty or a hundred dollars in a GoFundMe for Ronnie. Uh, for for uh, cancer research, but uh, I'm not exactly sure how you do that. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, so oh. I'll I'll find out, but uh, yeah. or I'll I'll send the money to you, and you can send it to uh, um, uh, Natalie, and he can figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but uh, uh, but anyway, so you're 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 pretty well willing to admit that this election 
is pretty well done with. Yeah. Now, uh, some of these states were pretty close. Mm -hmm. And uh, like in Georgia, if it's under, yeah. I think, a half a percent yeah, difference, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. you get a recount. And uh, OK, you know, I, but even with the recounts and even with all the falsified ballots, uh, you know, the the ones that had been photocopied, sent in, and only well, one... Well, if you believe that story, Phil. Well, I'm, I'm willing to believe. Well, you know? of course you want to believe anything, but let's... Look, you know, I think that this year, if we ever had an honest election, this was it, because everybody was on their best behavior, you know? Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, this mail-in ballot thing, they said it could have been rife with fraud, and, you know... Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. We'll find out. And by having these recounts, uh, uh, we will find out if there well, was. Well, it any doesn't problem. matter. It doesn't matter if they recount I, I anything. He's won without a recount. Yeah, but I, I kind of like the idea of mail-in ballots. Yeah. Uh, you know, I vote um, absentee, mm -hmm. uh, and I, you know, and absentee is okay. You know, you fill out the thing, they send it to you, you ask for it. And they give it to you. I don't like the idea of just blanketing uh, any any voter. Uh, with, well, I with think in most states what they did is they didn't just throw ballots at people. What they did is they sent them a thing saying, if you would like to vote by mail, return this, and then you'll be on that list of voting by mail. Well, that's absentee ballot, ballot for all intents and purposes. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way most of these states were. I don't think anybody, you know, Trump was trying to give the idea that they were sending out millions of ballots to people. No, they weren't. They were sending out millions of notices that you could get a ballot. What, what, you know. in the, was it Detroit where 1,475 dead people voted? Now, those people could have died between the time they got their ballot and the time well, no, that they now, voted. Who's saying that? Well, of course, it's uh, Trump. Yeah, of course. You know, but, you know, if Fort and Giuliani, so 1,475 people. Two of the most vote. reputable people in America. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I like them. But the, uh, you know, as far as uh, if these claims of fraud mm -hmm. are true, then we'll understand that they work, that mail-in ballots work or don't work. But if they're not true. And this is a legitimate, a proven method of voting. Then you know yeah. everybody who has an opportunity to vote should vote. This is America. You don't want to. Well, so far, wanna... every court of law that they've gone into has turned them down. I understand, yeah. but that, that's that's yeah. why because they're not presenting and they're not presenting any proof. I you know, I, or I enough that. or enough information to make it questionable. I, I, I get that. So. Uh, so uh, really, what you've got with Trump is a sore loser. Well, that's okay. Well, uh, no, know, and you know something? I think that there's something to be said of losing with grace. Well, you know? You know, this is what you get. Uh, you know, I, I was thoroughly happy with Trump's four years. And I wasn't happy with Obama's eight, but I lived through it. Mm -hmm. And I'll live through four years of Biden or maybe six months, I, you know. But, uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, you'll be I, griping soon enough. You know, I, I, it's funny that you mentioned Pandora in your promos. Uh -huh. I am preparing uh, to change my lifestyle a little bit. For instance, uh, I was at the car wash yesterday mm -hmm. and I clicked on Pandora and I hadn't I hadn't listened to Pandora for a couple of years mm -hmm. so I didn't have a sign in anymore so they said oh you know just sign in again make a new account so I made a new account and I pressed a few things for some music I said mm -hmm. okay I like Jethro Tull uh, I like the Moody Blues mm -hmm. and so I picked a couple of things I plugged it into my car stereo I said this is really nice because when you listen to 60s on 6 at Sirius it's a lot of bubblegum music. Uh, uh, what's his name? Cousin Brucie, I, uh, I was told, got a job at WABC. Yeah. And so is he? I guess he's no longer on... Uh, I have no idea. I, I do know that he's on WABC once a week. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. well Barry told me you know, he, got, he got a job on uh, WABC. So, uh, so uh, you know, I hadn't heard him on Sirius on the 60s on 6 for a mm -hmm. while. So... Pandora, I said, hey, this is really nice. It's digital. It plays in my garage. 
you know, if I pull into my garage, the Sirius, as soon as you pull into something overhead, it, it cuts out. And but on the uh, off my phone plugged into the stereo in the car, it doesn't. So I, I'm I'm very happy. I'm going to start listening to more music, less news, and uh, you, you might know. be better off that way. You know, yeah. it's it's less uh, stressing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I don't but know you how know much the thing that. is that that uh, uh, it's it it's what Trump is doing right now is bad. You know, uh, no, and he, I mean, he's doing it bad. Uh, he's doing a bad thing because it really sends the wrong message to the rest of the world about our democracy and the way in which we run. You know, get that another way. Uh, Trump is 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 justified in uh, in calling for a recount in certain states, and our system allows him to do that. And if it's I with if it's within a certain amount. Percent. Yeah. yeah, and in the case of Georgia, that's why they're doing the recount. But in most cases, where they've done recounts in states, mm -hmm. they've always come out the same way they came you know out the first You know why this is time. important? Why? It's important because there's two senators that are going to be in a runoff election yeah. in Georgia. Yeah. yeah. And if, uh, if you keep Trump uh, up front and, uh, and give hope, you're going to bring people out that may vote for uh, no, uh, no, because that, the, the, they're only going to be recounting. They're not going to re be revoting. I understand, but it keeps him in the forefront in the news because he. No, this may functions. actually what he's doing now may actually hurt him because he's acting like a sore loser, and people in America do not like sore losers. You know what he? You know what he says to people like me? Mm -hmm. He says, "Don't allow the media." to determine who the president is. Well, I don't think be. the media did determine. You know, I mean, the media has always determined on election night or election day who the president is because they look at what they see are the most votes in these places and go, well, you know, he's our new president. But that whole thing isn't codified until what? December, December, December 13, yeah, When the uh, electoral college meets. Right. Uh, um, and until the uh, states certify. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, um, but that's okay. never been the truth. And what Trump wanted was he wanted to say, I want a winner the night of the election. Well, I'm sorry. Number one, it, you, it never was that way. And well, in this in we, this environment of covid, it's not going to happen that way, Donald. You're not going to get it the way you want it. He was hoping for a route. And, uh, you know, it's funny that all of a sudden, did you see the stock market lately because of Pfizer and, and the, uh, uh, the vaccine? Well, also the election. There was yeah. a combination of the two. Uh, I, I don't think the election had anything to oh, do with it. Oh, really? Yeah. I th I oh, think really? It jumped up the day before, or, uh, the day before Pfizer. Well, I, I with my big investment, uh, I'm at 13.5% right now. Yeah, well, I made a lot of money too in the last couple of days, and I thank Joe, I thank Joe Biden for that. Well, I'm putting it in cash. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I I really think that as soon as Joe Biden takes office and starts with his regulations and his uh, onerous uh, uh, Bill, idea, Bill, Bill, you're, you're lucky with Joe Biden, and I'm going to tell you why. This whole notion that he's some kind of like you know radical leftist is ridiculous. He is he is so middle of the road. It's ridiculous, you know. I I don't think he's a radical, and I don't think he's a leftist. I think that he is there to feed at the trough, and he is no different. It wouldn't matter. I don't uh, think so. Other than Trump, other than Trump, it wouldn't matter who the Republicans put in or who. Uh, the Democrats put in. It's going to be this business as usual. And if Romney ha uh, won, or if uh, uh, Jeb Bush won, uh, or if uh, uh, any Democrat won, it's going to be the same thing in Washington. Uh, it, they think that their only lot in life is to create more regulation, more laws, and that if they're not doing that, they're not doing their jobs. And then their other lot in life is to get mm -hmm. rich out of their position. Well, uh, that that uh, that has, uh, you know, that's, uh, that, you know, I mean, that is certainly is a part of what uh, what is going on, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it always, you know, 
I look. You don't like politicians. Neither do I. Really. You know. No, I don't. I'm trying to do something here while oh, I'm talking. Well, to let you. me ask you something. Yeah. AOC supposedly has said that they, she wants to make Trump supporters pay to find out who who the people were that supported Trump and make and 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 give them uh, you know make them pay. Well, uh, look, look. Whatever AOC says, she does. She's not the Democratic Party. She's marching to her own drummer. She's a young kid with, uh, she's, uh, you know, she's got her ideals, and she just plays them out. She doesn't re say, figure that it, it's going to amount to anything anyway. So, but, so she just does what she wants to do. Don't, go, yep. don't quote AOC as some kind of para paragon of, uh, of lefties. You know? how, how much uh, do you think, uh, is she going to be in Biden's cabinet as the... No, uh, she's not going to be anything in Biden's cabinet. Yeah. She's not going to have any part of be, the reason being is that Joe Joe wants. Uh, can I be honest with you and listen to me and don't, you know, he right. he he wants to unite the country at this point. And he is not going to take somebody like AOC and put her in a position of authority where everybody can bitch and moan. He wants to bring everybody into the tent and he's not going to do it if he al allows OAC to, you know, to have a major that, position. Because as a as a Trump supporter mm -hmm. and as somebody who's uh, con contra to uh, Biden, I have really felt that he has been more divisive than anyone else. I'm, I'm a chump. I'm oh, come a, on, Phil. Phil, 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 Phil. This ugly. What, 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 right what Trump that. has done in this country is create the most divisive uh, uh, atmosphere that we could possibly have and it's been terrible he has done nothing to unite a country he's done nothing to get them all under one tent to solve the covid problem i mean he's been phil a terrible president do you think biden's going to take credit for everything that trump has done no COVID? no i don't think so but i will say that uh if uh, you know right now i think it was pence yesterday he said see we got this uh, vaccine and the fact was that Pfizer made a point of saying the government had nothing to do with this vaccine. We paid for it all on our own bill, and the only thing, only money we're getting from the government is they're buying it from us. But that I, we we developed I, this on our own, uh, with our own money, and the government had nothing to do with it. I thought Trump guaranteed. No, uh, no. And he also fast tracked uh, the uh, the approvals. N uh, he, I don't. Uh, he they. Approvals were going to be fast tracked anyway. Well, usually when it comes to a all vaccine, I'm saying is Trump had nothing to do with the development of this vaccine and the fact that it exists. And Pfizer has said so. Well, we'll uh, we'll see. Well, no, I know you say we'll see. Pfizer I, has said so. I haven't heard Pfizer. Uh, the, Pfizer the guy from Pfizer yet. got on the air. I saw him the other day, and he said we did this all with our own money. It was no government money. We did not do this under any government program. The only thing that, that we are getting from the government is they have given us money to produce, uh, I guess, a million doses of this stuff right. in advance. Uh, but right. that's all. But no, but that's not development. And that's not paying. Development is they're not going to make money back off the first hundred million. I'll tell you they that right now. They didn't start developing it until there was a COVID crisis. Well, and was of course they didn't develop until there was a COVID crisis. How can you if you don't have if you don't have a COVID crisis? How do you know you need a COVID vaccine, Phil? So, so therefore, when uh, Trump guaranteed them uh, what it was a hundred billion a uh, hundred million doses mm -hmm. uh, and paid and paid up front and said look if you don't develop a vaccine we're not taking the money back uh, but he, he gave them the money for the stuff no he gave them the money to make uh, uh, what was it a million batches of this particular thing okay so I rest my case no it, you know? it, Paid for it, Visor. If they said somebody Trump was going to pay for it at some point, they yeah, wanted well, to make. They just, it. you know. But what I'm saying is the development of it and all the cost of development, which was not cheap, okay, was yeah. not on the government's dime, okay. Uh, that Trump wrote him a check. Yeah, sure. Trump, <laughs> Trump. They had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. So uh, anyway, 
back to our friend Mr. Biden. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's uh, uh he's not president. Go on, President elect Biden. Uh, well, you didn't want to call President Trump president. I never did. Years. Well, I, I think I call him President Trump on occasion. Yeah. Usually, yeah, usually, it, 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 usually there were a few other words in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I'm going to have no no problem. You know, uh, I, I think that uh, Biden's going to do things that I don't like. Mm -hmm. And a lot of presidents have done thing, I, things I didn't like. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Jimmy Carter did stuff I didn't like. I didn't like giving up yeah. the Panama Canal. <laughs> but on, on the other hand, yeah. if Biden uh, goes back into that nuclear deal with Iran uh, and, uh, and doesn't... Uh, secure our security with china uh for our um, our intellectual property uh and continues to allow china to just you know pillage this country I, i'd be very sad well i don't know if pillaging is the right word you know uh, rape <laughs> rape yeah rape Hey, listen. Uh, I guess you're. Uh, I guess you're not happy about the outcome of this election, but you're. You're. You. You pretty much agree it's a fait accompli, and that the guy who's going to get inaugurated on the 20th of January is going to be Joe Biden. I, I'm. I'm going to uh, deal with my bet <laughs> because I think I lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll leave it at that. Why don't we get back together again next week and, uh, and do some more of this? Uh, because I, uh, before you get off, I had an idea. I, yeah. I just wanted to, you know how you, you know, you, you like to have these one-on-ones with me. Mm -hmm. What would happen if you had one-on-ones with some of the other panelists and draw out their personality a little bit more. Not only would it make no, them a better. No, no, no. I get an, I get enough of them in proper quantities, without <laughs> having to put up with the grief that I had to put up with with you. Uh, I understand. And this simply makes it much easier, much nicer. Well, wonderful. Thank hey, you very much. You enjoy. It was a pleasure seeing you. Huh? Great seeing you too. Uh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, there he goes. That's our uh, old friend, uh, Phil Meyer, and. Uh, how do I get rid of one person here? I guess I just, uh, I don't I'll know. Leave. I just yeah. hang up on me and that'll, that'll take care of it. Okay. All righty. I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I've got a little problem here tonight with that little, uh, uh well, it, no, it, it's, I'm, I'm stuttering. My picture is stuttering. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's get uh, all these people into the same, uh, uh, camp together here, and let's uh, let's uh, go to our panel. There they are coming up. Okay, first of all, we've got uh, uh, we've got Jeff, and we've got me, and then we've got Charlie, and we've got uh, Brian, and here comes Robert Natali as well. Uh, yeah, here he comes. Uh, I've got an idea for you. You're looking for shows for your for Gabnet. You got one right here, or is it this other side? What is it? Oh, at, at, at the parlor. Uh, at the parlor uh, with Phil Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I'll you be know. right back. I'm going to get a couple of aspirin after that interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. you know something? I'll tell you. I think he actually is far more reasonable. I think with all of you here, if he were on with you, he wouldn't admit that Trump has lost this thing. Did, you know. did he admit it? Huh? <laughs> did yeah, he admit it? Admit yeah, he admitted it. He just said <laughs> he didn't have to like Biden. You know, which right. he's welcome to do, you know. Um, but, uh, uh, it, uh, it was, uh, so we're, we're, what, what can I say? <clears throat> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm tired again today. I don't know what it is. Hey, I, and what's his name? Uh, Fauci was talking about the, you know, COVID fatigue. What, yeah, saying, really? you know, talking a lot about it, you know, saying people do want to get out and stuff, you know, well, can't I do mean, much about I, it, I but. went, I went out today and I took a walk and I walked about, I guess, three quarters of a mile or a mile. Uh, and I came back and I was just exhausted. <laughs> you know, I just, I, I, I just, I can't. Uh, a, a couple of days ago, I actually took a two mile walk. Mm. Uh, but I was, by the end of it, I was kind of stumbling a little bit and so on. You know, I, I really think I have to somehow, maybe I got to just start doing the bike here or something like that. Yeah. At least, at least 10 minutes or something just to get. 
going again. You but know? I'll tell you what, I was supposed to, I was supposed to do this thing with uh, 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 my eyes, okay? Uh, and I'm not going to. Uh, and the reason I'm not going to is that I, I won't do it right now. It, today, Did you see how many COVID infections there were today? Well, I, 120? I, no, 100, 120, over 201,000. No, was it? According to 7 o'clock yesterday, it was 10,038,000, and today it's 10,239,000 at 7 o'clock today. Really? I'm going from 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. I thought it was something like 100. Today. I thought it was 130,000 today, mm. oh. what I heard. But here in New York, Just going by what Johns Hopkins says. The, the reason is is that the here in New York it's gone up. Uh, we're up around uh, two point. What is it? Well, here I can I can get it. I've got Qu uh, Cuomo's uh, thing. Um, uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Okay. In the microcluster focus areas, the positivity rate was 5.59 percent. Five percent is the cutoff point. Excluding those areas, it was 2.56 percent. Uh, of the tests reported yesterday, uh, 3.09 percent were positive. So we're jumping up. Total hospitalizations, 1,548. We had them down as low as like 400. And we lost 32 New Yorkers to the virus. And you're right, though. The, <clears throat> everything's being fast-tracked, I guess, through the system right now because it's emergency use only. So they're, even with our testing, with all the test stuff, they, you know, they, they let us use that before we have you know, all the data completed and everything. As long as they have enough to go by, then they release our testing. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the FDA is. I mean, the the vaccine is the same thing. Like you said, there. It's not Trump doing it. You know, it's it's FDA or whoever is pushing the stuff through quicker with uh, the reports and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's gone up here in New York, and I just don't want to take the chance of going into a hospital. Yeah, I at wouldn't. this point, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's just not not uh, not not good. Oh, uh, here comes Kevin. Hold on a second. I will admit Kevin. You are admitted, Kevin. Now he, he had has... our one millionth case in Texas today. Oh boy. Mm. First state over a million. How, how, how many? How many deaths? You know, we don't have the same amount of deaths we used to have because we've got no. better ways of mitigating the the disease once somebody has it. But uh, uh, you know, we just found out uh, it was just simply by putting them on their stomach and then rotating them to their back and then back to their stomach and you know like that that we've actually saved lives so we're learning how to deal with this disease we didn't know that when it first hit in new york and that's why it was so damn high you know so anyway um so everybody hello kevin how are you good not in a bed in a hospital like sixty two thousand other people are but yeah uh, is it 62,000 now nationwide? Yeah, as they said today in the news just a little while ago. Yeah, well, I mean, it's still low here in New York, but uh, I... That's I'm, a record even going back to when they were in, uh, during the peak of the original. Yeah. Well, these are all records. Yeah, yeah. well, New York Except is... Except for the deaths. <clears throat> New York, a couple of months ago, we would have been happy to be this low, you know? But it's it. We got so low that we'd like to stay that way. How's it doing over in New Jersey, Robert? It's pretty bad over there, isn't it? Yes, it is. In fact, in my little hometown, which is really four little townships making up one township, mm -hmm. uh, we have about twenty-four thousand people, and now we're up to about um, two percent of the population having been infected at some point or another. Wow! Wow! Yeah, they're saying that the Dakotas and the Wyoming and up in that area is getting nailed hard, and they were all walking around like nothing's happening. Well, they it's were fun. acting like they were their shit smelled great, you know. Yep. Yeah, we don't yeah. get it up here. That's why we're not worried about it. Wrong. Yep. You know, 
uh, I mean, I, I, I go back and I look the way it impacted New York City, though, when it first hit, and we weren't prepared for it, and we didn't know what to do about it, and the fact that we were losing, we were losing 800 people a day, okay? So to say that we lost 34 yesterday is kind of going, okay, easy peasy. Yes, Jeff? Yeah, my son uh, works, lives in Brooklyn, and he usually, he comes home, but he gets tested first. Yeah. And today, this morning, he was there at uh, 8 o'clock, which is when it opens, and he's gone a couple of times before. Mm -hmm. There was like a thousand people online. Well, you know, you know why? Because everybody's getting getting frightened about this. That's right. Now I know that I I I I have been tested by proxy, because Marjorie last Friday had to go get a COVID test so she could have a procedure done today, and she came out fine. So, you know, uh, I, I I imagine. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for my results. I. I decided to go get tested because I was around all those people at the election. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. Good idea. Yeah. But yeah, you know, my question is, if you get tested, you it's only because you want to know for other people around you. you so you can. Yeah. Get, Plus, I go so, see my mom and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because otherwise, why do you want to know? <clears throat> right. You know, I mean, okay. So they say you have COVID. Does that mean you're going to come down with it? Not really. You know, it means that you've got the, it means you got the virus and you're going to stay away from people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there's a guy that um, MSNBC has been featuring all throughout this crisis, and he kind of flies under the radar because we talk so much about Fauci. He's a man named uh, Michael Osterholm, and mm -hmm. he is an epidemiologist who's actually predicted that there would be a pandemic. A few years ago, he predicted that something like this would strike. Mm -hmm. And he had an excellent question this morning regarding this vaccine. He was saying that they're loosely throwing around the number 90%. And mind you, this isn't me saying this. This is him, a learned man, saying, what is 90%? What does 90% mean? Does 90% mean that the virus will not affect 90% of the people at all? Or will it mean that the symptoms that those people would ordinarily show now are curtailed, but they're still breeders? You see what I mean? Like there's a big well, difference. Uh, well, I, I, I think what it means is 90% are not going to get it. And there's a 10% chance that you can. That's what I take that 90% to mean. Me too, but you That's could possibly say they're not sick, but they're also still sure. spreading the virus. Sure. When, when my son comes to visit us, he's always healthy, and he, we expect him to look healthy, but he gets to be tested. Well, of course. Of course, of course. because... You know, I mean, you know, there's a certain risk for well, guys like me. You know, I just decided that uh, <laughs> at my age, better to be safe than safe sorry. sorry. Yep. Uh, that, yes, I need this thing done with my eyes. But on the other hand, it's not so bad, you know, that I can't wait a month or two before I do it. Mm -hmm. And by then, either we will see a vaccine suddenly become available for people my age okay uh, or we will see the numbers go down but i'm not going to do it while we're in this surge and the surge is going on in new york too and i you know what better place to catch up with the surge than a hospital yeah right mm -hmm. and yeah. i spent some time in a hospital the other day and uh i, I just don't want to spend any more time in a hospital so did you notice the hospital was different than it was the last time you went there? Well, I mean, you know, seats were separated and everybody had to wear a mask. And by the way, if you went and wearing one of those black masks, Marjorie had one, they give you one of theirs. They don't, think, they don't accept those. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And right. um, uh, yeah, and when I filled out a form, I was through with the pen and they said, you put it in there. Mm -hmm. 
In other mm -hmm. words, I took the pen from this bunch of pens and then I put it back in this bunch of pens and then I guess yep. they go and sterilize mm -hmm. them and then put them back in there, mm -hmm. you know. We were doing that all day. Yeah. So, I mean, there are various uh, uh, things that, yeah, have changed at the hospital. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, I you know, I, uh, up until maybe last, this week, I would not have feared going to a hospital. But I don't know. I just, I, as, while this is going on, I just don't want to be where there are a lot of people. And I'll tell you, I went out on the street for a walk today. And whenever I see somebody not wearing a mask, I put my hand over my face. And the reason I do that is I figure it gives me the double protection. It's like me making them wear a mask by doing that. Does that make sense? No. You know? No, it doesn't? <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't make sense? I told you, you, you got to do it like this. Oh, you gotta I do see. It like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make them get the hint. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but no, I, I put my hand over the mask. And I told Marjorie when I came back, I said, I almost suffocated to death because I had my <laughs> hand over my face so often. Yeah. Taking yeah. that, like, a three-quarter of a mile, a mile walk that mm -hmm. I took because people were not wearing masks. And, and one guy, I went to Popeye's, which the chicken was terrible today. I don't know who made it. It was rubber. It was made out of rubber chickens. Uh <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I go and I get, get it, and I'm leaving, and there's a guy who opens the door, you know, like, give me a tip because I opened the door for you. And he wasn't wearing a mask, so I looked in his face and yelled, wear a fucking mask. And I... It was yeah. nice knowing you, Alex. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I mean, don't, but don't try to get money off of me and not wear a mask, okay? Yeah. Yeah, if you're wearing a mask, I might think about it. But I ain't thinking about it if you're not wearing a mask, because you're endangering me. Yeah. You know? So yep. it goes on and on, you know. But uh, we have a whole other set of problems I suppose we should attend to, and that is uh, this guy who apparently we're going to have to wedge out of the White House with a crowbar. I mean, what is wrong with him? He can't do anything with dignity? You know, nope. I mean, everybody is no. saying, what? He's Mr. Fuck you. Well, I mean, look, um, I understand it's not easy to lose, okay? It's even harder to concede, right? But you do it. You do it because there's certain courtesies, you know? When somebody does something nice, you say thank you. You don't say Fuck you! I don't say thank you. You know you you. There are things that you know are just the right thing to do. Yes, Charlie. Uh, the Daily Show last night. At the end of the show, they played a whole montage of, of uh, Fox News people saying, saying, accusing the Democrats. Oh yeah, I saw that. 2016 of everything the Republicans are doing right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, they've been doing that. Yeah, and 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 the fact is that you know, come on, he, he lost. I don't care what they do, he's not going to have won by January twentieth. Oh. On January twentieth, he's uh, he's hitting the rocks, right? Bricks or whatever, and yeah. and it's over. Okay, get used to it. Right, this is the way things happen. You did a lousy job. They didn't rehire you, you know. Uh, you're fired. Yeah, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> well, yeah. if Joe, if Joe wins Arizona and Georgia, he winds up with 306, yeah. which is the exact same number Trump won by. And for four years, he told everybody that was a landslide. Yeah. So you know, you can't have it both ways. Yeah, right. Uh, well, no, it was a stolen election this time. Oh, he was robbed. This time. He was oh. robbed. Yeah. 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 But everything you say about well, that he won't do this, he won't do this, but mm -hmm. he doesn't respect the presidency. So what well, do you expect from somebody who's like that? He has no social bearing either. I mean, there's a certain dignity in saying, okay, you won, I concede. 
you know. Yeah. I mean, and and also, you don't why why do you want to put the country through this entire thing? It's in all this angst that's going to go with it. God knows, they were they were had enough angst as it was this year. You're going to add more to it, you know. Not about Trump the country, care. huh? Well, Trump doesn't care about the no. country. All no, he cares right. about is Donald Trump. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah. and again, it's one of those things where he can make a move. You know, he can say, "Okay, I do the you know concede," and then say, "Hey, I'm going to build my base stronger in four years. We're starting today." You know, he can turn those things around, but he never he never does. He's never, not that smart. He he never turns them around. Yeah, I I don't understand him in this respect. You know, I mean, uh, it, 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 I'll tell you, uh, uh, what's his name, Bill Maher, for like the last year has been saying, if Trump loses, he won't leave. Yep, yep. <laughs> and everybody was going, come on, Bill, you know, this is America, you lose, you leave, you know. Not He's him. absolutely right. Yeah. He's going to, and, and did you see did you see that, uh, that little press conference that Rudy Giuliani held in, in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Well, uh, what they did, they got, they held it at the Four Seasons. They thought it was the hotel, but it turned out it was the Four Seasons, what, yard? Landscaping. 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 <laughs> Four Seasons landscaping. And so they held it there, and then they had a guy, uh, Rudy Giuliani brought a guy forward who saw ballots being stuffed and things like that. And then they found out this guy had run for senator in New Jersey about five different times, and the reason he never got elected is because he was a convicted child molester. Yeah, yeah I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. 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 This is their proof that, there was, that the fix was in, in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania. You know, come on. Just, it's over, you know. If you just sit there and do nothing, it's, only, it's just the numbers are going to pile up, and you're, you've lost. So just you know, start start packing. Although I don't think he ever quite There's, what. I said Giuliani. Giuliani says he found more ballots. <laughs> what, 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 in what, his I, pants. Oh, in his pants. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He found more ballots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I'll tell you. This is the, uh, uh, the Facebook memes have just like got me through this time of waiting for Trump to concede. <laughs> They're so hilarious. The things people are thinking of on those memes. Well, this just oh, goes anyway. on and on and on. Come on, you lost. Get the fuck out of there. You know, it's time no, he's to not going to concede. <laughs> They're going to no. have to drag him out, kicking and screaming. Well, I can. Have, <laughs> you know what? You, here, here's what happens on uh, on. Uh, I don't know if you know the the thing that goes on, but when there's an inauguration going on, uh, the, uh, the former president leaves the White House and goes to the inauguration, and the new president comes back, and while he's gone, they've completely redecorated the Oval Office. Yeah. And I think the, res the residential headquarters uh, upstairs. Completely redone them. Uh, What's going to happen here if Trump's not going to go to the uh, inauguration? You know, are they going to have to kick him out? Time to leave well, now. Talk, what? I saw, an inter I saw an interview today with, I can't remember who it was, but they actually had uh, a contingency plan of him not leaving. And they, were, they, they had the scenarios that when he would not leave, and they were these outrageous scenarios that, what will happen if he doesn't leave and they were joking around with some of the stuff that they would actually have to do but now they're seriously thinking it's actually going to happen hmm. and all this shit that they're going to have to do if he doesn't leave yeah he's going to go play golf sometime yeah two times this weekend he played yeah. golf two times I, oh, mean, yeah. I think that was a he's hit. got a shitty swing i'll tell you he's got a really shitty swing. i i, I like, think i think he was trying to to say yeah. By golfing, you know, yeah. that it was his yeah. his way of uh, saying to the American public, "I didn't lose. I'm not. This is. I'm not worried." I mean, yeah. he keeps sending that's, out. That's exactly what he keeps doing. sending out tweets. We won. What? Yep. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it could be we think we won, but we're fighting it, and we're going to see if we can get this whole. You know, whatever. But no, we won. 
We won, just plain and simple. Absolute outright lies. And then Twitter has to write notification, this is not substantiated, you know. Yeah. And Pompeo yeah. was out there talking like we're talking, uh, yeah, we're getting ready for our, you know, next four years. Yeah. Where? They, they had, they had a, a voter fraud hotline, and they had these guys from other shows that were, were crank calling them. Yeah. And mm-hmm. leaving all these messages, talking to the talking to the people, you know, ask, oh yeah, did you see fraud? Oh yeah, I saw a bunch of people tossing ballots. <laughs> there is one scenario that that you know I, I've been one that's been saying I thought that Trump would just shrink away, but I heard something today that scared me. I was listening to Frank Fogluzzi, who was the assistant director of counterintelligence for the FBI. How can you years. take a guy seriously? If his name, name is Fagluzzi. Right? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a made-up word. Yeah. In any case, he drew a scenario that scared the hell out of me. He was saying, let's not forget that Trump is in debt and that, you know, yeah. various bad actors across the world may happily relieve him of that debt with Deutsche Bank in, in exchange for, you know, like go Benedict Arnold here. In exchange yeah. for information that could put the United States at great security risk. Well, because he's got all the goods, but he, I heard a, a further story on that. Deutsche Bank is holding all his debt. Deutsche Bank has already put word out that they want to sell his debt to other people. Well, they, they now, he, now, his debt isn't really worth a lot, but it mm-hmm. is to certain bad actors. Oh, sure. Who would want yep. to take on that debt and say, okay... You won't have a debt any longer if you tell us about this or you tell us yeah. about that. And, yeah. and and he has not been known as somebody who can keep a secret. No. Nope. No. You know. I mean, I'm sure there are secrets that the former presidents like Obama have that they'll take to their grave with them. You know. But Trump, uh, he's in so much money trouble that this could get him out of money trouble. So everybody's really worried about it. Uh, they say the, the uh, uh, security division or whatever, the part of the government that it cares about security, is very worried about that. You know, He's a national security risk. Yeah, well, he, had, well, he has been all along, ever since they had the P pictures. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he's been, he, I, I honestly believe the reason he was so forgiving of Russia was exactly because of those pictures. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, that's a kind of, you know, kind of myth, a kind of uh, a homemade myth that you think about, like the pee pictures, that you don't want to believe actually exists, but it does, I'm sure. Yeah. You know. and, and it was, what it was is he had them pee in the bed where Obama and Michelle slept. And so they put him in the same room, so he wanted to get some hookers up to pee in the bed. That's what it was all about. That's just fucking depraved. He, he's, he, he, is, he is not well. He is that's not well. He is. Huh? So that's how vindictive he is. Oh, he's very he's incredibly vindictive. Absolutely. Um... You know, I mean, they show, it, huh? They show that 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 uh, scene from four years ago when Obama had to, you know, said, "My number one concern is to have a smooth transition." So, you know, because the country is is important, most important thing, and you can see, Obama did not like to have to do that, but he had to do that, you know, presidentially. And now you have Trump that's not doing well, that at all. Well, here here's what's happened, which is t- t- terrible: is the head of the office of uh, uh, o- the OA. What is it? It's the it's the government accounting office, mm-hmm. the OAC or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it's not OAC. She's a, in in the, in the in Congress, but oh. <laughs> it, I forget what it's called. The, the government Ac- general accounting office, GAO or something. Yeah, um, uh, they're supposed to give him Biden a chunk of money. Mm-hmm. So that he can have money to do the transition, to get temporary headquarters, you know, a temporary White House, so he can get everything ready and going and so on. They won't release the funds right. because the person administering them is a Trump appointee. 
and she won't let the funds go until the elections have been verified. Well, they never did this before, you know. Also, the day he becomes president-elect, they start feeding him all the briefings of the material that he should know about all little secrets and things like that, which I got a good story about that. But uh, uh, you know, uh, with those kinds of uh, uh, kinds of secrets and stuff that he should know, um, and they won't uh, they won't give him the briefing. They won't yeah, give the daily it, briefings are supposed to go they, to him so he can read them. Yep, which Trump never does. Yeah, never anyway. Trump never does. Somebody may may as well read them. Um, but the point is that the reason he has to know what's going on. Is because right now he's getting calls from Boris, uh, what's his name in in England, uh, uh, the yeah. head of the you know, Boris and Merkel and Merkel all Merkel and all those people, and he doesn't know what he can say and can't say, because he doesn't know from the briefing what is there and what isn't there, and so it's a pretty dangerous thing not to debrief him, and uh, so they're not doing that, you know. Uh, none of the things that they should be doing right now to create a peaceful transition, not the least of which would be to invite the new president to the White House for a sit-down and a handshake. Not going to happen. Yep. You know. Uh, Better all bring sanitizer. Huh? <laughs> Better bring yeah, in sanitizer. Yeah, well, know. yeah, I mean, you don't want to do that because that's a super spreader for sure. I mean, that... that, that <laughs> The thing he held the other night when he got up and said, I've won. Uh, about five people who were there came down with COVID. Yeah. 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 So Ben Carson. Ben Carson. Yeah. Brain surgeon. <laughs> would would Ben Carson know that he was sick? I, I'm just, just curious. I don't know. He feels his pulse, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Does he know how I'm to not operate sure he would not take it. Does he know how to operate a thermometer? You know. <laughs> yep. I yep. could show him where to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so you know, I mean, it's it, 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 this is uh, all these things that are coming together now is rather, you know, where we were really happy is really depressing because it it really it, it uh, compromises us as a country. You know? And, uh, yeah, but did we expect anything different? I don't think so. No. I mean, you, you know, we wanted to be surprised. It's going to be a shit show for the next 70 days. Okay, so mm. maybe not, but I, I will confess to being naive enough to believe that more members of the Republican Party would step up to the plate and say, look, it's over. Let's I'll move tell on. You. I kind of thought so and, too, but yeah. they're a bunch of pussies. It no, seems like. it's turning yeah. out. It's turning out that most of them are falling in lockstep with him. Yeah. Well, and you know, I I heard one Republican. I can't remember which one it was. Where one Republican today was talking about, or as a Democrat that was talking about how the Republicans are calling him and saying, you know, uh, we're we're glad, but uh, we can't say it publicly. Chris Coons of Delaware. Yes, that's who it was yeah. Yeah. And and he's getting phone calls, but none right. of them will come out and say that they're publicly yeah. will say it because they're 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 pussies. Yeah, they're saying to him exactly. Congratulations, I'm not in a position to speak yet. Yeah, which is a bunch of bullshit. Did yeah, you, that, you know, fucking man up. Did, yeah. Did you see the very nice letter that uh, George Bush wrote? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really yeah. very nice. Very yeah. nice. Um. You know, I mean, it, 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 there are people coming forward and going. Yeah, I, I think even even uh, Romney kind of said nice things. You know, he said, "Well, we got to let this thing play itself out," but I wish uh, Biden the best of luck. Or whatever. yeah, it was like uh, uh, five of them came out and said openly that you know all's good, but there was forty of forty of the other yeah. ones that just. There's a whole list of them that didn't say shit. Well, the reason you come forward, uh, the reason you come forward like that is not because you want to keep Biden happy, but because you just want, you, you, it's it's the nice thing to do. It's respectful. It's respectful. 
And, you know, you want to be respectful. The guy's now going to be president of the United States. He's president-elect. And, uh, just, uh, well, we're, we're going to have to put up with this charade for a while. And then Trump, to the end, is going to go, I was robbed, I was robbed. And then he'll start his Trump TV network, whatever it's going to be called. Uh, and, um, you know, I think he's going to call it GabNet. That's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good idea. Be happy to sell them the name. Get that copyright going pretty quick. Yeah, yeah you better. Well, I've got, I got a trademark on it. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've got GabNet.net, you know. Pretty, you know, it's it's available if anybody wants to buy it. I'm, you know, I can come up there with another. Go. I can come up with another name. You're reasonable. I'll just call this channel blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> the Antifa Network. The Antifa. Yeah. There you go. Antifa.com. I wonder if there is an Antifa. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Let me let me just give this a try here. Antifa.net.com. <laughs> Is there an Antifa? Yes. A presidency for all Americans. Biden Harris. Oh, wait a minute. No, but it's, it, you know where that resolves itself? At JoeBiden.com. <laughs> Antifa. We've been wrong all this time. Dot Sorry, Phil. Com. It was. Okay. <laughs> Antifa.com. Okay. And it resolves itself at JoeBiden.com. He's, he's trying to get that, that side, too. <laughs> Damn it. Sure Joe right Biden winger. owns Antifa.com. Hmm. Let's try I'm Antifa. Sure right winger just bought out that, uh, that, that, that URL and, and to redirects it to Biden.com. Biden had nothing to do with it. Who, who bought it? Yeah. I say, I'm sure it was some right winger. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, let's yeah, see. Antifa.net resolves nowhere can't be reached okay so we can go for antifa.net maybe i should get it huh sure or antifa.org that makes it sound or yeah. how about antifa.gov yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway a presidency for all americans my fellow americans the people of the nation have spoken blah 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 Blah, 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 blah. Is this signed by Joe Biden? This goes on forever. Um, uh, well, anyway. so It's easy to do, to, to, to just redirect the website to some, some other URL. Well, no, no it, you have to have that URL. Like, I have, I have alexbennett.com, okay? If you go to alexbennett.com, it automatically redirects to Gabnet. Mm. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that Anybody can redirect something to JoeBiden.com. Yeah. Because you can redirect it anywhere. Oh, yeah. You yeah. The, oh, the, yes, the, yes, the yes. Domain that. Well, I, I, I can take AlexBennett.com and have it redirect itself to JoeBiden.com. Yeah. You know. So. Uh, what the hell? So. Hmm. Well, I think Trump is just going to not do a lot of effort, but he's going to just. Participate, not participate in anything. Yeah, uh, he's not going to. He's not going to participate in anything. He's not going to cooperate with anything. Nah. You know. But he hasn't been doing anything for months. So what does that right. tell you about being president? Well, he's, right. he's good at this. Two months. Yeah. Easy job. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's. Uh, uh, well, what the hell, you know. Uh, it, it, the uh, the only thing is, and I said this, and I was saying this for months. I've been saying this for the last year. Is that there are you know he has like ninety days between the election and the middle of January, yeah. and in that time he could do a lot of damage. You yeah. know, he already has. Why why for instance, did he get rid of uh, what did he get who did he get rid of? Casper, huh? Casper. Yeah, the head of um, because Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Defense. Because yeah. Esper spoke up about the Lafayette Park incident with mm -hmm. the Bible. Yeah, but why do you wait till now to get rid that's, of it? That's a good question. See, that's I mean, and question. why do you get rid of somebody when your days are numbered? I mean, just yep. live with it. 
you know. He, he said people. he's going to get rid of more, too. I mean, did Obama dump Comey after what he did to Hillary? No. no. All these guys got two-month jobs coming. <laughs> he said he was going to get rid of anybody that's looking for a job, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Charlie. Well, maybe Trump wants to do a military coup and seize power and stay in power, and he needs a Secretary of Defense who's going to direct the military to back him. No. Well, you know, the military has the right to refuse in yeah. a situation yeah. like that. I don't think Trump understands that, though. Yeah, well, no. I mean, I mean, he, he's got Bill Barr now trying to interfere in the election. <laughs> He's got Pompeo yeah, he doing his bit, you know, to, to, to screw it up. I mean, he, he's got everybody in line, but apparently his Supreme Court isn't his bitch. They're throwing everything out. Yeah, Can right. you see that war room, everybody? In the morning, Alex, they come in for his briefing and he pulls the thing down. Okay, who's on my side? Who's not? All right, you're fired. He's out. It's probably like a shit show in there. But Trump, no one's taking the cases. They're throwing it right out the judges. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> it's, hey, you know, I, can I say this again in all due respect with Trump? Yeah. Would anybody really care if he took a bullet now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you now. can only say that so many times on this program before I'm going to get a knock on the door. I'll, I'll defend myself. But Alex, oh, look, look, look what you said what he's doing. Can you believe he can't just step away? I mean, and and just... Do the right well, thing does that sound to you like problem? somebody who would commit suicide? I don't you know. And even them for following him, like how can they even follow him? He's not going to be around anymore. They don't have to worry oh, about him. No, they're he's worried fired. that he, they worry. They're worried that he's going to have some kind of political clout. What he's taking with him, they believe, are seventy million votes. I'm well, just going to say that. I'm going to say that he maybe had them? seventy million votes that will remember him tomorrow. And maybe a week from tomorrow, but in the G December, nah, you know. And when he's finally no longer in the White House, eh, you know, maybe twenty million will care about him. Maybe they may not even vote again. These people, so they shouldn't mean. be allowed to vote again. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe they're stupid. <laughs> Whoever voted for him twice, you're not allowed. Once, we'll let you go. <laughs> Well, um, uh, you know, Stephen Fry, yeah, Stephen yeah, yeah. Fry, the great yeah. British comic, was on my show, and this was right after um, this was right after Bush got elected, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it was right after Bush got elected, and he said to me, you know, we f in Britain feel very sorry for you Americans. We realize that you got this election stolen from you because of that whole Supreme Court thing. He said, but if you vote for this guy again, then all bets are off. He's right. Then we stop feeling wrong. sorry for you. Yeah. And I'll stop feeling sorry for America if after Joe Biden, they put some, we elect another Donald Trump type, you know? Because let's face it, some people feel, feel he started a whole new movement, which is Trumpism. What is that? Trumpism. Well, Trumpism. It's what Trump is doing. Oh, with whatever he says, then he goes. Like a like movement. A yeah. movement, yeah. Like a and, cult. And that, you know, he's, he's saying that he's already making plans to run again in 2024. Really? You know. Yeah. Uh, Thought now. Uh, yeah, start now. Exactly. But if he's saying he's making plans to do that, then he must figure he's not going to get in the, stay in the White House. It's remember how early remember how early everything started this time too too yeah. you know that's that's the thing that's the, the whole presidency if he does something and he starts doing it very soon you know that sort of distracts the democrats and now they're going to start doing stuff soon and we're going to be like there's not going to be an off season with this well he you know? yeah well he well, always, the he, day after his inauguration he he, he started his yes re-election campaign he, he filed that. that that day yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he yeah. filed Back to run for re-election that day. Yeah. yeah. He's going to jump on it. <laughs> and he never I did anything. Job, he gonna, he gonna, never gonna did anything to make sure he got re-elected. I mean, exactly. You know, I don't know if I could do it. Don't you understand no. that this is your audition? The first term you know, is your audition. Oh, if, yeah. if he auditioned for you and you were the director, what would you tell him? Like, after I got the part, right? You didn't even read for it yet. <laughs> yeah. 
Or and weren't you saying? Do it! I tell you, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Weren't you saying, Alex? Like uh, this this last year, I remember before I started calling, you were saying that there should be a time that they're able to start. That you know that date is when they would start the campaign. There wouldn't be any campaigning allowed before that because it's just getting too long. Well, my hmm. my whole feeling has been that um, we number one, we don't hold primaries. Okay, hmm. you say why not? Well, because primaries really don't do anything. You know. They don't m amount to much. Then all they do is they give people an indication at the parties as to who is going to be the nominee. Why not just go to a convention, have your people who want to be running for president argue it out among themselves like they used to do for the most part at, at conventions. Yeah. There, there was a time when they never had primaries in this country. That's right. The conventions were there so that you would figure out who was going to negotiate being r running for president. And uh, have the two parties come out with their standard bearers, okay, and then uh, have a three-month electioneering <laughs> period. Right? That's the way we should do it. This thing yeah. about two years. This has been going on for two years, maybe more. You know? Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of been ridiculous, I think. I don't know about yeah. you guys. but Then it's going to get worse. Huh? Yeah, well, I it's mean. It's going to get worse. It, it just wastes too much. The only people that benefit are these news networks who get to gin yeah. it up for two years. Mm -hmm. You know, and the two years before that, they're ginning it up with, like the day, I think it was about two days after the last election, they said, who do you think is going to be running in 2020? Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, we're not even there yet. We're not even close. Do you think he'll be at that inauguration day? Or do you think he's going to be like, no. You know, no. Uh, if you were That's to... No if, chance. Well, you know, Robert's the guy who... Is in the was in the betting game. Yeah, what's the and, odds? And what are the odds that this guy's going to show up? I, I wouldn't oh. take a bet on that. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. No Maybe chance. Puts, what about if he has one of his kids go in his place? No chance. Yeah. Oh. No, maybe Pence, but not Ooh, one yeah, of his kids. He, he looks like he's in the Adams. Uh, why would Pence show up? Because he Pence. Anybody, but, Pence might be thinking already of 2024 and trying to tow a more moderate line. That's just a hunch. Do you think? Do you think Pence has done anything that would put him on the map for election? Absolutely not, in my view, but in his view, he might have. I mean, all he did was he was an apologist for Trump for four years. It's, yeah. It was his only job. Yeah. He certainly yeah. wouldn't pull in their group. Their their base. No. 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 He was very good at it if you think about it. Well, I mean based on a perfect puppet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was the uh he was kind of the good cop. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, not that I consider him a good cop, but certainly he was better than Trump. You know, and uh I I think he was <clears throat> You know, he certainly has a certain amount, a certain amount of credibility. Yeah, you know, every now and then I wonder when people no longer call this program, and uh, Robert chased one of them off. Thank God. Uh, I often wonder what they're thinking now. Well, Brie said it was solid money that he was going to win. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Solid money. It's, it's, it's if if it's you're listening money. at all, Brie. What about that solid money on, on You know Trump? what? It it wasn't an opinion. You know what it was? It was make an outlandish prediction. If you're wrong, people soon forget. Mm -hmm. But the one out of a hundred times you're right, you can claim that you're a genius. Uh yeah, yes. you could say that's <laughs> true. Like in sports. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Pick the Jets to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Nobody's going to remember when you're wrong. Yeah, except when you're right. Listen. But when you're right, oh my God, this guy's a prophet. Yep. Put on Facebook that the Giants were going to sweep the the uh, Tigers in the World Series, and they yeah. swept. I have I keep telling everybody that story, but yeah. I was wrong every other year. <laughs> sure. You know I, me. I have never been a football fan. Oh, I, love football. I find the game loutish and really? boorish. And I've Did you never, ever go to a I, game? I, no. 
You, you might like it if you get good. You got to get good seats. No, to go I to wouldn't movie. like it. Yeah, I wouldn't. There's no like seats it. anymore. I wouldn't like it. And, <laughs> and not seats. and not at the prices oh. for a seat in a football game. I'm sorry. Oh, and, yeah. and you can't get seats anymore. Anyway, um, uh, I one year went to a Super Bowl party. And what do they do at all Super Bowl parties? They have a Super Bowl, the what pool. do they call it? The, yeah. the pool. pool. Oh, the box. Did you get a box? A pool. So everybody put in, you know, blah, 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 a pool. I, of course, I put in my five bucks so I wouldn't be, you know. So at least I'd have some reason to sit there and watch the game, you know. And I don't even know how it's played. I'm serious when I say that. I don't understand how football is played. I've had it. I've had major football players try to explain it to me and I don't get it, you know, because every, they start at that as something downs and then they go from there and they lost me at downs, okay? <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, I don't know the first thing about football. So guess who won the pool? You won. <laughs> <laughs> I walked away with like 200 not. bucks. I, I won the pool. And people are looking at me going, why did you win the pool? You don't <laughs> like football. You don't even know how it's played. I go, That's right. I, I have a dear friend mm. who's self-employed. And every single year on Facebook, he puts up the boxes and he says, we passed this around the office. I think I've got a good shot. And you look close and every single box says Frank because he, <laughs> he works for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I remember, oh, on, I remember oh. on Live 105, Alex would always t say that the Super Bowl, he would go to the mall because all the women are shopping and all the guys are watching the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, you know, I interviewed, I'll tell you, years ago, I interviewed uh, Jimmy Carter. And uh, I asked him a question. I've always wanted to ask anybody who became president. I said, tell me this. When you first become president, do they then take you into a room and tell you all the secrets? And he says, yes. He said, they do. They, they sit you down in a very secure room, and all of a sudden you're being briefed by various intelligence services as to what's going on. I said, did any of it scare you? He said, I couldn't sleep that night. He said, the stuff they tell you is so... Horrendous. Sure. You know, and, and you, oh, oh Spotify wait a minute, hold on a second. I, I, I accidentally touched users, something here. The 35 yeah, we know all that. Okay. Dude, you said secrets of <laughs> huh? Anyway, he said, you know, he said, I, yeah, he said it scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> he would have used the word shit, but he was, you know, good Christian. Do you uh, think they told Trump all that stuff or no? They probably have to Nixon it. I'm it? wondering how much they held back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'd be afraid to tell him the time of day. I mean, well, I mean, we were talking you know, earlier doing? about how he has a, loses a lot of secrets right now. Yeah, and, I heard you say And that he's in debt, and so he's for sale. It, didn't he have that that secret that secret meeting with uh, Saudi Arabia or somebody? Remember he had that secret meeting? And nobody else was allowed in there right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but let me ask you this though, I mean. If he were to, like, say something that compromised the United States of America, couldn't he be arrested for that, even though he's, he's president? Yeah. 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 Imagine, yeah. He's in, imagine he's Benedict Arnold and they don't even know it. He's so stupid he would say something. You know. He's Benedict Arnold and we don't know it? Benedict Arnold's been not. dead for a long time, Tony. I know, but he may come back in the trail. Yeah. What would he do? I would, actually, I'd love to see him do something like that happen to him. What? I mean, of course, we don't. as long as we don't go into, like, nuclear war or anything like that. You, you know? You've come down from a bullet, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah now, he's, now he's just down to <laughs> outright, uh, night, outright hanging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tony has, like, five <laughs> different ways to get rid of Trump. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be uh, out, uh, out of step here, but uh, I, I, stab I really tomorrow. think the guy should uh, stab himself with a knife. Is Squeaky From still alive, Alex? Did oh, shut her? up, boy! Yeah, oh, yeah she, she is, as a matter of fact. We can pay her a little money. Don't worry about it. She'll do anything, probably, for a couple of months. <laughs> Only okay. for there's, Charlie, there's and he's six. gone. No, Squeaky oh, From is still alive, and she, she's, still alive. she's in prison. Am I right? She's still alive. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, she's still she, in prison. She is still alive. <clears throat> yeah. Even God don't want her. 
Stay down there. Cool. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Comes up parole every few years, too, and gets turned yeah. down. <laughs> Tony, yeah, she's up. You know, yeah. Yeah. I always loved it when they would bring Charlie in. <laughs> yeah. oh, remember they used to wheel him out? And I'm, he, sure, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure before they brought him in, they, they kind of, there was somebody said, okay, now, look. <laughs> Nobody laugh, okay? Just yeah. let him do what he does, and you know, because he would come in every year and he would do his whole thing with the speaking in awesome. tongues and the blah, 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 yeah. And, you know. yeah. <laughs> and um, what was funny is that I don't know. I think Charlie wanted to stay in prison. He did, you know, because he did oh, yeah. nothing at those those hearings in any way. To try and say I'm I'm a changed man. You know? He never found God, right? No. Well, you know, he spent most nope. of his life in prison before he got arrested for this thing. So to him, prison was home. You know, he was used to that. So, oh, he left us with the hideous wallpaper. Oh God! Everybody, avert your eyes from the wallpaper because that could cause you to commit murder. Maybe that's the answer. Put up this wallpaper in the White House. He'll go screaming out of the goddamn place. Yeah, but uh, Trump wouldn't like it. Uh, Trump, uh, Trump uh, completely, you know, redid the the White House. They had a thing. We were watching this thing, the Comey Rule, which was the mm, yeah. Comey book put to music, basically. And he goes, Comey goes in and uh, he says, how do you like what I've done with the place? He says, I got rid of those horrible drapes that Obama had here. He says, well, you know, those are the Clinton drapes. Really? He said, no, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not the Clinton yeah. drapes. But they were. They were the Clinton drapes. And if you go you back... You make fun of my mother's drapes, Alex. Huh? They got drapes in the White House. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see if you became president. Oh, God, if you became president. <laughs> Can you imagine my mother got a hold of that place? It'd be like a trail of Listen, if you became president, we'd be, we'd be better <laughs> off than we are right now. Okay, she still so. had stripes when she worked in a She used to buy them on sale, and they're still in the bags, not used. She has them. Like, what are we going to do with these? Well, I'm take like, those oh, down to, for, to, for, to begin <laughs> with know, and put up the new ones. Every time, she used to work in a, she used to work in a, which were curtains and drapes and stuff like that in the store, towels. Mm -hmm. But she that's didn't work. She didn't. Me. She wasn't uh, working in wallpaper, was she? No, that's yeah. Yeah, that's that's obvious. <laughs> that's obvious. Um, so anyway, uh, let me see here. Um, what, what else is what else is in the news? Hey, off topic. Has anyone been watching the HBO series How to with John Wilson? No. Yeah. I guess not. It, you should. Tr everybody should give it a try if you got a minute. Um, it's very dry humor, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's pretty funny, actually. You know, it's really he, great. I, I, if you get there, have been if, three if, so far, yeah. and the most recent one was how to, and it's about scaffolding of all things. Well, if you don't, and he shows yeah. the amount of scaffolding that's uh, existent in New York City. Oh, it's everywhere. I got it in this building I'm in. Oh, really? We got oh, scaffolding. Yeah. It's it's really a fun it's a fun show. Well, they show. have to put it's up so they have to put up this protective scaffolding uh, when they work on a building so the stuff won't fall to the ground and hit people. Right. 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 So they have to put up the scaffolding and they have to put up all the stuff where they go up, you know, in the in the what do you call it? Those el el elevator things, mm -hmm. uh, and it costs them sixty five thousand dollars a month. At least for this building, and for months they never did anything. It just cost them sixty-five thousand a month. But anyway, um, uh, let me see here. I'm very punchy and tired right now. I don't, you know, I'm this way all the time now. This is the COVID fatigue that, and and you say that the, uh, Fauci was talking about it today. Yeah. Really. I'm still open you. Wow. Do you have it, Jeff? Not well. You you're you're up there in the country, you know. I don't know. I I go out on my bicycle every day. Yeah. And after I go on a bicycle, it's time for a nap. <laughs> it's time for a nap. Yeah. Okay. So you got a kind of COVID fatigue. That's right. And you're not indoors a lot, are you, Brian? I mean, you know, you go to work. Go to work every day, yeah. Yeah, so, so. you get out, you get to stretch a bit, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we go across the street. I try to take the kids out, but it's starting to get cold now, so we don't get out a lot. But 
try to get them outside. We run around there and do crazy stuff. And, and um, um, Charlie, you're but you've been indoors a lot, right, Charlie? I'm indoors all the time. Yeah. Are you getting COVID fatigue? No, not really. I got too many shows to watch. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, you hooked me up with the Queen's Gambit. Oh, the I'm Queen's Gambit. That. If you have not, if you have Netflix and you have not watched the Queen's Gambit, this is the best series that I can remember in recent years. It, it's only seven episodes. I'm a player from way back. So yeah, but yeah. It, 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 did you watch the whole thing? No, I'm still. I'm in the middle of it now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait till you get to the end. The end is, it's wonderful. It's just oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, but I mean, it's just a great, great story. And supposedly, supposedly, it was loosely based on the life of Bobby Fischer, who was a child prodigy, basically at chess. Right. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, this thing is about a girl who is an orphan, who learns how to play chess in the basement of the school the orphanage she's in with an old man who's playing chess and teaches it to her. And she becomes a great grandmaster chess player. And it just all that she's going through and all the psychological things she's going through. And a lot of these, you know, a lot of these grandmasters went crazy. And you can understand when you watch this, and you know, the if, if you know anything about chess, just to play that with the intensity and the absorption mm -hmm. that they have in that game, uh, you probably want to blow your brains out at some point, you know? <laughs> Um, but it, it's just, and, but what it is, is it's just, a, it's kind of like almost a love letter to chess as well. The whole thing, it's a, <laughs> taken from some book, some guy wrote, and it's really very good. And if you, if you watch it, you start watching it, you just can't stop watching it. And when it's over with, you wish there was more, you know, and there is no more. There's not a second season or anything else. This was a, a Netflix limited series. And it's just, and I think it's going to walk away. It's going to run away with everything next year at the Emmys and so on, you know. And at the SAG Awards, got to win, got to win like crazy. Um, I can't think of anything better. Uh, well written, well acted. The woman in this thing is terrific. I don't, even, I can't even remember her name right now. Uh, she's got a very unmemorable name. Uh, Queen's Gambit. Hold on a second. Is it here? Queen's Gambit. Uh, Queen's. All I have to do is put in Queen's. There we go. Queen's Gambit. Anya Taylor-Joy is her name. And yeah. she is just, in fact, I can show people here a picture of her. Here we go. Uh, well, now I don't have it. I just put that in there. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. That's her right there. Okay? So I just thought I would. Uh, put that in there for you so that you could, uh, you know, anyway. Uh, but uh, it's it just just terrific, just a terrific show. Um, anybody have any last words about what's been happening in the last couple of days? Is this frustrating you like it's still frustrating <clears throat> me? I mean, I just... Yeah, yeah try, I'm trying to, like, so like Phil was saying, I'm trying to get away from all the news networks for a little while, get some get some brain activity up there again. But geez, then I, I I keep wanting to check in to see what this idiot's done or gonna do. So y yeah, it's hard yeah. to it's hard to get off the drug. But you'd quick. like it you'd like it to be over and done with. You know, yep. you'd like yep. the resolution. God knows we've been putting up with this stupid TV show for the last four years, and now it's time that it's over with. And I just it, it, I guess what I'm going to be relieved by is I just want. All the time I'm going to have not having to hear about the president that day. Yep. You know, I mean, Biden's just going to do his job. He's not going to be begging for attention. You know, it's been quite the last couple of days without Trump doing anything, which has been nice. Well, uh, tr Trump has been unusually quiet. Yeah. Well, they're going to miss me if I don't go on TV. Yeah, sure. No, we you know. Just stay away. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we like yeah. it. We like it just the way it out. is. This is really nice. This is cool. Yeah. Just keep it up, Donald. I think it's very relaxing. Yeah, it yes. is. At first, as compared to what, what, what we had. Yeah, but you know we, what we're getting instead? We're getting weeks. Pompeo, and we're getting Giuliani, yeah. and we're getting Pence. You know, 
it, we still have to put up with that that goon squad. Oh, yeah. It's not end, it's not an end end game. No, no, but you know, it's it it, it it's terrific. I mean, we've finally gotten to the point where uh, I guess it's coming slowly coming to a close. So's this program. Listen to that. There's the theme song. Hey, good having you here. You, what, you can't hear it? There. How's that? Okay, there you go. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate having you here. And uh, Charlie, thank you very much. Nice having you here. And uh, Robert, I'm looking down at you. Hey. And uh, Brian, nice seeing you tonight. I guess Adrian's asleep. or She's downstairs. I live her alone. <laughs> okay. You didn't encourage her tonight. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, um, um, and of course, Kevin, always good talking to you. And Tony, the mass killer of presidents. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight, too. Hey, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave bye 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 back at you. And uh, uh, okay, that's it. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to sleep now, but I want to thank our citizen panel for being here. There will be another citizen panel assembling right after my program next with Jack Bishop, and it's called The Intersection, and uh, you use Skype for that, and the address is, or the phone number, or the number for Skype number is GabNet Live, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E. Give them a call. Talk to them. Anyway, I'll see you again, back here again, uh, this uh, sports show tomorrow night at uh, 8.30 with the franchise MC. I'll see you at 10.30 tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And everybody, be safe out there and wear a mask. It's very important.